Dr. Robert Stein here with the Body Mechanic Series. Today is one of the best videos you're going to get. This is the best exercise in the gym, or it could be your worst exercise in the gym. Squats with a barbell. Most people, I'd say about 80% of the people I see do it wrong. Good for my business, good for disc herniations, good for sacroiliac problems, good for knee problems. So if we do it right, we can get the best workout because when you do the squat right, it's great for the butt, great for the quads, great for the hamstring. It actually builds the whole body. Great bodybuilder is squats. If you do it wrong and you cheat, you're putting the integrity of the low back discs into play. And that's why you don't see too many people doing squats as they get older because they've wrecked their back from doing squats. The key to a squat is most people keep their feet flat. Can't keep your feet flat. If you're doing a squat with your feet flat, you're automatically incorporating your Achilles tendon. The Achilles tendon is too tight to where you can't do the mechanic right. If you have your feet flat, when you go down, you can only go down to this angle. That's as far as your Achilles will let you do it. And then to go further down, you gotta kick the butt out and then go down. What's happening is, is when the butt kicks out, all the weight goes right on your lumbar discs. No good for you, good for my business. When you do it right, you have to put something under the heel. If you put something under the heel, it automatically, I'm on my toes, changes the angle, and I'm going straight up and down. If you go straight up and down, you incorporate the quad, glute, hamstring, glute, at a nice angle to where you're not cheating. Also, if you keep your feet flat, you're automatically leaning forward, all the weight goes on your knees. If you want to go see an orthopedic for meniscus tears, go ahead and do the mechanic that way. You will be seeing him for the meniscus tears. Let's just do it the right way. Number one is you got to put the bar where it's located not too low. If it goes too low on your neck, it's going to pull you forward to balance it. Put it a little higher on your upper back. That will give you the right angle. Get your, get your uh, plates. Find out the right height. It could be a 5-pound plate, 10-pound plate. There's actually squat shoes out there. If anybody's seen squat shoes, they actually have heels. That's the right way to do a squat. They have a heel so you can get the right angle on the knee. When you do a squat, I see a lot of people going all the way down to the ground. They're breaking the body mechanic rule of less than 90 degrees of the knee angle. You are tearing up your knees. You won't feel it when you're in your 20s. You won't feel it early 30, 34, 35, 36. That's when you get your report card and you'll go, man, why do my knees hurt now? That's from doing low squats. So let's not get that report card. Let's do it right. When you get in the squat rack, get your hands at the right, no thumb. Get your head and neck positioned right. Get it here. Protect your body nice and upright. Get your heels in the right position. Do not put your toes too far out. When you go down, go nice and smooth, straight up and straight down. Nice and straight, just like this. I'm not leaning forward, I'm going up and down. I'm not going too low, I'm not going too high. I'm working my butt, my glutes, my hamstrings, my abdominals, and the rest of the body. Greatest exercise in the gym, build your whole body. Highly recommend it. Have to put something under your heels. Don't go all the way down. Don't screw up your knees, don't screw up your back. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, Dr. Robert Stein, Body Mechanic out.